Are you trying to maximize your profits in Harvest Moon 64, or are you just trying to avoid seeing the animal livestock death scene? Either way, today's video is for you. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Animal Raising Guide for Harvest Moon 64. Let's start by talking about your dog. Now, your dog, you're going to get him from day one. So from day one, you can start taking care of your dog and raising his affection level. These are the different things that can affect your dog's affection level. Number one, if you pick your dog up, plus one affection per day. Number two, you can whistle to your dog, and that's again, one additional affection every day. And the last thing you can do is feed your dog. Every day, you can feed your dog. You can put anything that's edible in his bowl, and he's going to eat it. So you can get plus three affection every day if you do these three things. There are two things you can do that can lower his affection. The first one is not feeding him. Every day that you don't feed him, it's going to be minus one. And if you attack your dog with a tool, it's going to be minus eight. You may be wondering what different effects does your dog's affection level have? Well, it has several different effects. The first one is the dog race. The higher the affection level, the higher the chances that you're going to win. Another thing is that there's a late game event, and this event is tied to a picture that you're going to get in your photo album. Your dog has to be 200 or more affection before you can get that picture. So if you want to have a party at your house, it's a really cool event, and the only way you're going to unlock it is by having your dog at affection level 200 or higher. The last thing, and this is kind of a minor thing, but if you take your dog and you show it to different people, they're going to have different reactions, and their reaction is going to change based on the dog's affection level. This is also tied to a bug, and that bug is if you talk to Karen and your dog is not at a high affection level, then you can keep raising her affection level, but if your dog's at a high affection level, you actually can't do this exploit anymore. The second animal that we're going to be talking about is the horse. Now, the horse, you can get it from day one for free if you leave your farm, take a left, go straight and go to the ranch. Then you'll see a cutscene, and after the cutscene, you're going to have a horse on your farm. But initially, your horse is just going to be a baby horse. Now, let's talk about the horse's affection level. The first thing you can do is brush your horse, and you can buy a brush from Rick's shop Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday for 600 gold. After you buy this brush, you can brush your horse, and it's a plus two affection. You can whistle to your horse, plus one affection per day. You can also talk to or ride your horse every day. You can talk to it when it's a baby, and then once it becomes an adult, you can ride it. So you can just jump on and jump off and it's plus one affection point. The horse is a bit different from the dog in that it's going to be minus one affection every day regardless of what you do. And again, you can also attack your horse and if you attack your horse it's going to be minus eight affection points. So what does a horse do for you? Well, the first good thing that a horse does for you is that you can throw your crops into the horse's bag. And in this game, the horse's bag and the shipping bin, they're connected. So the horse is really helpful. You can use it to harvest crops a lot more quickly. What does the horse's affection level do? Well, much like the dog, a high affection level means you have a higher chance of winning the race. The next animal is the chicken. Chickens, they're only going to eat chicken feed. You can buy this at the animal shop for 10 gold. You can also leave the chickens outside, but I personally don't recommend doing this because it's going to be a waste of your time to be running around, finding your chickens, finding the eggs. And in case you didn't know, time stops when you're inside. So if you want to save some time every day, definitely keep your chickens in the chicken coop and feed them with the chicken feed. Now, chickens, they actually do not have an affection level. If you have a chicken and it's not starving, then it's gonna give you an egg. The egg, you can either sell it for 50 gold, you can give it to somebody as a gift, or you can put it in the incubator and you're going to get a baby chick. If you just buy one chicken and then you use the incubator as fast as possible, you can get a full chicken coop in just 15 days. So for chickens, it's not really that much of an investment and you actually get a pretty decent payoff. Once you have six chickens laying eggs every day, that's 300 gold. Even if you use chicken feed to feed them, you still can get 240 gold per day. Now, with chickens, they have two states. The first state is the normal state, where the chicken just looks normal and healthy. The other state is the starved state. This happens if you forget to feed your chicken or if you leave it outside in the rain. When it enters the starved state, it's not going to produce eggs. To correct this, you're going to need to feed it for two consecutive days and then it'll start producing eggs again. Also, another side note is that each chicken, it has its own feeding bin, so be careful when you're feeding it. I know some people might have made this mistake where they maybe put feed in some of the further away bins and they didn't put it in the front ones. These chickens are picky. They're only going to eat out of their own bins. 
In case for some reason you are confused, you can go to the chicken bin and push it and then whatever the name of your chicken is, it'll pop up. Now, one thing that sets Harvest Moon 64 apart from a lot of modern farming sims is that your animals can actually die if you don't take proper care of them. If you forget to feed your chickens for three consecutive days or you leave them outside during a typhoon, they are going to die. Now, one last side note that I want to say is chicks, you don't have to feed them. So definitely save that money on feeding the chicks. Um, no matter what you do with chicks, they're not going to be upset. Baby chicks, you don't have to feed them. You don't have to make sure that they stay inside on a rainy day. Like whatever you do with a chick, it's just gonna stay a chick. It doesn't have a happy mode and a starved mode. However, as soon as it turns into a chicken, then you're going to want to make sure that you don't leave it in the rain and it's being fed. Next, let's move on to the most complicated animal, and that is the cow. Now, cows, they actually have four different states. The cow is going to start out in the normal state. It's going to stay in normal as long as you feed it every day and you're taking care of it. If you have a cow, you're going to want to be checking the weather every day because if it's going to be a sunny day on the second day, then you can take your cow and leave it outside. When you leave it outside overnight and you have grass and it's a sunny day, there's a 15% chance that it's going to turn into the happy state. If it enters the happy state, it's going to stay there for three Three days and the affection boosts that it receives are going to double. The second state is the mad state. <laughs> a cow has a 10% chance of becoming mad if it is left outside when it's raining. You must feed it three times for it to stop being mad. Your affection gains with the cow are halved and it will not produce milk. Then the fourth and final state is the sick state. A cow has a 50% chance to turn sick if you don't feed it. If it's rainy or there's a typhoon, then there's a 10% chance that it's going to become sick. To cure sickness, you can buy medicine at the Green Ranch. And the worst thing that can happen to your cow is that it can die. If you are a bad owner to your cow and you leave it in the sick state for seven full days, your cow is going to die. So if your cow is sick, make sure you get that medicine within seven days. With chickens, there's only one type of egg, but with cows, there's actually four different types of milk. There's small milk, which sells for 100 gold. There's medium milk that sells for 150, large milk that sells for 300, and there's gold milk that sells for 500. For small milk, your cow has to be affection level 0 to 150. Medium milk is 151 to 220. Large milk is 221 to 255. To get the gold milk, your cow is going to have to be entered into the cow festival and win. Next, I'm going to tell you guys how to increase your cow's affection level. And remember that if it's happy, these rates are going to be doubled. And if it's sick or angry, it's going to be reduced. So, of course, number one, talk to your cow, plus one. Number two, brush your cow, plus two. And third is milking your cow, that's plus one. In this game, attacking your cow, it actually has a weird effect on affection. Usually it will increase its affection. So if you want to hit your cow, you can do that at your own risk. And actually it's going to increase its affection level. However, don't be mad at me if your cow gets upset. If you don't feed your cow for one day, it's going to get minus nine affection points. So make sure you don't miss a feeding for your cow. Every day, your cow's affection level is going to go down by one, so make sure you're talking to your cow, brushing your cow, and milking your cow every day so you can offset that minus one. The last animal that you can raise on your farm is the sheep. Now, sheep, they're going to produce two different types of produce. There's wool, which sells for 900 gold, and there's good wool that sells for 1,800. If your sheep's affection is 0 to 197, it's going to be the normal wool. If it's over 197, then it's going to be good wool. With your sheep, it should be no surprise to you that you can talk to your sheep once a day for plus one, you can brush your sheep for plus two, and when it's time to shear your sheep, you can get plus two affection. And much like the cow, if you don't feed your sheep, it's going to be minus nine affection. Sheep, they have two states. They have their normal state, which they should be in most of the time, and they have a sick state. Again, to cure the sickness, you're going to have to buy medicine at Green Ranch. Affection gains are going to be halved while it's sick. And yeah, if you don't feed your sheep for seven days, then it is also going to pass away. 
So you might be wondering what is better? Should you get a sheep or should you get all cows? Cows definitely make you a lot more money than sheep in this game. That being said, if you're lazy and you don't want to milk all of your cows every day, it's definitely fine to raise some sheep. If you guys have any more animal questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see you guys next time.